All right. So back to this. I believe this is part 30. Um, don't quote me on that though. Uh it is part 30. I'm actually getting pretty good at get I mean it shouldn't be that difficult, but again, we're just continuing carrying on with this, right? Um the big thing there and what it comes down to, right, is we're seeing kind of the and what I described in the last part, until Michael and Kai come back into the picture, it's really just going to be everyone kind of dealing with the fallout of the second, I'll call it the second incident, right? Um, you know, the first one being obviously what we knew from the start, again, what happened with Shiro, right? But really just kind of in what we're seeing is Shiro's integration into the literature club, right? Especially with Kind of right now, what we're seeing is the overlapping of events between this mod as well as the base game, given the festival placement, right? I have no doubt, you know, or well, I wouldn't doubt if the festival ends up being the culmination of this mod. Again, we're kind of we're partway through that uh, third arc, right? With the big thing being it's probably going to culminate with the Embassy and Kai coming back, like I mentioned. But again, as I also said, again, Shiro's integration into the literature club, right? Funny that Shiro's being treated as though he's the MC now, but again, it's also something where he's he's pretty much a fully fledged member of the club, right? But what's interesting in kind of where we left off too, right, is seeing uh again kind of the tensions now between Shiro, Yuri, and Adrian, right? Given the disdain Adrian has for Shiro, but I guess Yuri's empathetic nature, right, kind of you know causing a struggle between. All right, you know, what Adrian's comfortable with in Yuri's own self-determination, right? How much sacrifice are they willing to make? Um, Again, you know, with Yuri showing that disdain here, even though she and Adrian talked about it and seemingly came to a compromise, that, you know, ultimately he would treat Shiro better at the, you know, exchange of her and not being too close to him. But I guess we'll kind of see what ends up coming down to. So, yeah, so again, right? I mean, yeah, like, shut the fuck up. Shiro does, Shiro does not have fucking thick skin. The fact that he's the reason this whole thing started is proof for that. So, bro, what the hell is that? Like, bro, dude, shut, first, all right, listen, and this is exactly what Adrian was talking about. How the fuck would Shiro know this? Like, what do you mean you're heading the same direction? Like, you know where she lives? But again, this is exactly what Adrian talked about. You know, but also I feel like what's going to happen is they're going to walk. Adrian's going to see him and he's going to have an art conversation with Yuri. So. Bro, what? Stu stupid ass question. Why would she lie about that? Like, you know. And here's the thing. We know how Shiro is, right? So. Scandinavian. I mean, no shit. Like, that's how you have an ethnicity. Russian Swedish. It, actually interesting though. So no uh no finish, but again, uh Anderson dude, I swear Mr. Anderson. Oh my god, dude. Gain the last names of fucking um Yeah, stupid ass question. Rob alert. Oh my god, it's Norman. Oh. <sighs> fucking Rob alert, bro. Oh. Bro, like and we know what's going to happen. Adrian's going to see them. Like, who is it? All right, interesting uh, smokes. Dude, I swear to God, these two fuckers. Like, there's, listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, right? It's not a flex to be a stoner. Like, you know, being a fucking, being a junkie, right? Like, all right, dude, like, you know, but fucking, of course, to be fair, Natsuki missed the last one. But, and we, a little antsy, we had to burn our stuff, you know, a cigarette. You, it's got to be a weed cigarette, because there's no way they're referring to actual fucking, like, tobacco cigarettes. Like, yeah, fucking. And again, we know it's going to happen. Yuri and fucking Shiro are going to walk out. Adrian's going to see him, right, you know. She was not, and again, because we know Adrian's disdain towards him. Granted, I find it interesting that he's bringing this up with Natsuki. I guess they're 
I guess they're pretty decent friends. I didn't know that they were that. I, I kind of knew that I knew that they're smoking bites, right? But, you know, I guess they're pretty decent friends as a result. But again, we know, it, like, she, despite Adrian's disdain for Shiro, he knows, like, that Natsuki, you know, was in the same club as Shiro, right? So it's ultimately something to where in that instance, right? You know, I kind of find it surprising that, you know, he would, uh, what would you call it? Um, I find it surprising that, you know, to that extent, right, that ultimately he's bringing this up with her, right? So, because again, even if something was happening, you'd like, I, you'd think you'd assume she would defend him, right? And again, because, and again, the question being, because, because here's the problem, right? Adrian, and because, and I, I find it interesting that Natsuki's not being super defensive of Shiro, at least when compared to Charlotte. Because Charlotte, I swear, like, she, like, confronted the MC about him leaving and, like, accused him, right? Like, it wasn't even she was trying to get information. She's like, oh, why the hell did you abandon Shiro? But Natsuki, like, honestly, she's like, I don't really fucking know. Like, you know, it, it's interesting there because you think, because, and especially with the way Adrian words it, like, how much has Shiro changed? Well, that depends on how you perceive him, right? Again, we know Shiro's, or Adrian's disdain, right? But at that point, you know, Natsuki was kind of somewhat friends with him. So, you know... Let's see. But again, they have a different perception of who Shiro is. So that's kind of the inherent flaw. So Natsuki's saying he has not changed. And Adrian agreeing with her saying uh, he's not changed, right, doesn't necessarily mean that they perceive him to be that same person. So. And again, so and that's what worries me. Again, you know, and I feel like, I mean, to be fair, from what we just saw, I would not be surprised in the slightest. And also, given Shiro's track record, I would also not be surprised. I would honestly be more surprised if he doesn't try anything with Yuri, right? But also, again, because Adrian's not a fucking idiot, right? You know, and I feel like, because Natsuki's going to try to defend Shiro in this instance. But I think the reality is, I think it's more likely than not that Shiro tries something. But, you know, again, I guess we'll see there, right? So... Let's out of what? All right, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, you know. Like, also, like, that's a very... And again, we know Natsuki's just trying to defend Shiro in this instance, right? That's what it comes down to. She's just defending Shiro. You know? I mean, we, she defended Shiro to Monica, who was the victim of Shiro, right? So... And again, Adrian brings up, and this is what I even said. I said, Yuri and Shiro have those similarities, right? But again, you know. Well, I don't think, and again, Natsuki's not seeing it. Because I feel like Natsuki's just, her problem is, you know, she doesn't really, like, we've, we've seen this, you know. She, I don't want to say she doesn't care about anyone else, but she can't see, she can't put herself in our people's shoes. She can't, you know, see the world from other people's perspectives, right? It's the same thing with Charlotte. Like, Natsuki can't see from Adrian's perspective here. She can't understand that. From her perspective, Shiro isn't a bad guy. So she can't, you know, fathom people being worried about him that way. But, so her, is like, she's thinking, like, oh, you know, Yuri's going to leave. Like, no. Like, what Adrian's worried about is just Shiro's going to try something, right? Like, like that in and of itself, like is already like all right, like you know. And again, right? So yeah, again, Adrian, like it's because again, that's just kind of the reality of things. So all right, but all right, listen, but Natsuki says this, but again, I feel like just Natsuki is zero self awareness, like. The, the, again, people keep fucking spamming it. It's a fucking Jujutsu Kaisen PFP. But again, the, the reality is like she just can't see the world from our people's perspectives. Like, so she says this, right? But also, like, she's Shiro's friend. You know, all right, Jesus Christ. I need to like disable, you know, turn off all notifications. All right. But again, you know, that doesn't just because she, she says this doesn't even mean it's true. In fact, I think it's the opposite. Like, honestly, you know, I think more likely something happens than not. So, 
and again, like Adrian literally has a point here. Like, even despite the fact that it was edited, the fact that it was still a thing and how he was creeped, like that, you can't like absolve, right? So, and again, right? Adrian is what he's saying and what he's worried about is perfectly reasonable. Like, I feel like most people would feel the same way he does, right? All right, like, it, it's, but here's the problem, right? It's not that he doesn't have faith in Yuri. It's the fact that he shouldn't even be fucking doing this to begin with. Like, he shouldn't even be in the club. Like, it's not like, like, Natsuki doesn't get it. Like, it's not the fact that Yuri's going to fucking break up with Adrian for Shiro. That would be fucking insane. It's that Yuri's in a position where now she needs to deal with Shiro because he's a part of the club. Due to Natsuki's own influence, right? Like, she's, again, she just doesn't get it. Because, and this is part of the whole not putting, being able to put yourself in other people's shoes or see from their perspective. Again, it's just like... Let's see, Shiro's... All right, but also, like, I do not trust Natsuki one single bit. Like, if there's anyone who says some bullshit, you know, like, and I'm just not going to take into consideration at all, it's Natsuki. Because, like, she just says this, but then it's like, she completely ignored the points that Adrian brought up. And it's like, we know she just doesn't really care, or, like, she just doesn't get it. Like... Like, again, and obviously, you know, we know what she means to Adrian, but it's not like Adrian's, like, being overbearing and crazy, like, oh, he can't, uh, she can't see him, right? It's more so he's just worried about what Shiro's going to try. So. And again, we, but here's the thing, right? Dude, is that the fucking... Oh, she's back. But again, because the funny thing is, the last interaction we saw of her was her, Michael, and uh, the MC. So this is this is interesting, right? But again, we know. Funny enough, at the end of the day, similar to how, similar to how Charlotte was trying to get down the truth for Shiro, right? Now it's the inverse, where it's Sam trying to get the truth down the truth for Mike. You know, <clears throat> the fucking sex stairway, bro. Like, yeah, dude, that's why I'm like, bro, like, all right, dude, she a crazy assumption. But also, like, I hate the fact that this fucking thing exists. Like, hey, bro, he had the spark notes. Hey, actually good on Shiro, though. Like, you know. All right, this is interesting. So, I mean, but we know what's going to happen. Shiro's going to say, oh, he left the club because Kai told him to. Like, that's literally what he's going to say. And again, I think the funny, you know, I think the funny thing here is that this is exactly what Charlotte was trying to do for Shiro, right? And again, like, to be fair, like, again, Shiro brings up, I agree with Shiro. To be fair, I think it's interesting because Shiro himself wanted to go after Kai, but it took all the girls in the literature club to convince him not to. And now, I guess, since he's kind of cemented in the club, again, he's kind of, you know, fallen back or pulled off of that idea, right? Compared to, you know, Sam, who's now seemingly trying, and especially given her condition, you know. And again, like. Again, honestly, because, listen, I've said this. The, what needs to happen now, right, is. Shiro needs to sit down, shut up, make his way through the rest of high school. Be a part of the literature club. Don't fucking speak out. Move on and make a new identity or personality in college. Right? 
Sam needs to enjoy what she has while she has it, right? Not get involved in this bullshit. Spend that time. Be a good, being a good friend to Michael is more than anyone could ever do, right? That's what she needs to do, right? You know, again, like really, realistically, rather than try to get down into like an investigation, you just need to form like, it sounds stupid, an anti kylons Basically, you need to get as many people involved that you know are have a disdain or in the literature club is a good place to start, right? You know, you can recruit Michael, you know, Charlotte, who knows, right? Uh, Kayla Ruby, uh, are, okay, they probably wouldn't be, but they can be still, again, loosely, you know, affiliated, right? But if anything, you just need out. Like, you can't go and do it yourself like Charlotte did, right? So... Again, and again, right? Because we know Shiro now is disdain for Michael, right? So, yeah, because I mean, at least Shiro, like, here's what I will say, right? Shiro, ever since he joined the Lurch Club high enough, seems to have kind of chilled out, right? You know, and I, I do kind of respect him now more as a result. Um, you know, let's see again, like in Charlotte, a hundred percent. Here's the thing though. Charlotte, 100% was right that because we, again, she 100% was right, that they needed to accept responsibility, that they're part of the reason why Kai is the way he is. Like, that, like, is 100% true. Like, she is not wrong there. But also, again, we know why Sam's doing this. It's because she wants to clear Michael's name, and she genuinely, seemingly believes that Shiro's innocent, right? So... And again, there's like, here's the problem. There's such a lack of self-awareness on the part of Shiro. He doesn't own up to the fact that he manipulated Charlotte against Kai, right? Like, that's just not even a thought in his mind. So, like, he doesn't even account that, which is ridiculous in my mind. And why, like, you know, and again, like, he's trying to, like, pin this on Kai. But, like, that sounds like Shiro's own insecurity. Like... Again, like, this sounds like Shiro's own insecurity, right? So, again, like, and Shiro's finally acknowledging, right? You know, again, like, we fought, this is what I've been waiting for the entire fucking mod. We have not seen Shiro accept responsibility or apologize for anything once. He always makes it everything about him. He's always a victim. He's this arrogant asshole that, you know, thinks the world. But here's the thing. Now he's finally admitting this. Like, this is something we have not heard from him at all. And he has never said. He has never admitted to being in the wrong or much less what he's saying now, not being a great person. Like, this is pretty crazy. And again, it's because he's now joined the literature club and is, I don't want to say moved on, but... Again, like he is now past, you know, his previous allegation, past Michael, past the anime club, right? You know, now that he's moved on, he can finally have some self-reflection and actually acknowledge what he's done, right? You know, and it really takes kind of Sam, someone who's kind of a third party, right? You know, to actually, I guess, talk to him and ask about him for him to realize that. So... And again, Sam has a point here. Like, you need to just move on and let go. Like, but again, like, I feel like here's the problem, right? At this point, like, because really, and again, Shiro, finally he acknowledges he's not a great person. Like, I feel like that took way too much time to acknowledge. But again, like, what... You know, I definitely think he can make up with Michael. He just needs to actually apologize, right? Which he never did with Kai, you know? Granted, I don't think there's any 
possibility to make up with Kai now. Like, I feel like Charlotte kind of, you know, threw that opportunity away. But with Michael, definitely, you know, Michael and Shio can easily make up. Like, you know, and again, like, dude, like, and this is, like, Shiro says he's a horrible person, right? A terrible person. He's not a great person with what the shit he's done. And then he immediately turns around and says this. Like, Shiro's the biggest hypocrite in fucking, like, he, like, contradicts himself the most out of anyone in this mock. Like, this is why, like, I genuinely, like, don't care about him and don't view him as the victim. Like, he's not empathetic or sympathetic in my mind. Like, I don't, like, you know, everything this man has come to him, he deserves. Like, the again, like, what's crazy is, like, he acts as if he has a fucking obligation to the club. Like, dude, like, there's zero, like, obligation. Like, that that's what's crazy to me, right? So, all right, you know, fucking, all right, that sounds like a you problem. The fact that Shiro was never able to actually, like, move on and change as a person and grow as a person, because chances are he doesn't view that as needed, even though it very much is. Like, all right, but the this is such a funny fucking statement from Shiro, because him, Kayla, nor Ruby, none of them fucking care about Michael. If they actually cared about Michael, they would at least semi-understand his situation or dilemma. But they don't. And that shows that they view him as nothing more than a fourth body that's required and obligatory for the club. To them, he's nothing more than just a body, which is crazy. I feel like there's such a lack of self-awareness for most of the characters in this mod. And they just have a complete inability to put themselves in the shoes of our people and view things from their perspective. It's just not possible. And again, like... And again, Sam, you know, because Sam was the first person they talked to, right? So. And again, like, Sam is 100% correct here. Shiro was 100% correct about not going after Kai, but Sam is 100% correct here about, because Shiro's inability to move on and let go, part along with Kai too, right? But primarily Shiro. Like, that's what led to the whole Kai situation. And, you know, if he can't, like, fucking make up with people, like, it's just going to end up being the same thing, right? So, again, because at the end of the day, we, this is Shiro's primary character flaw. Like, this is why he's in the position he's in. It's all because of himself. And his, he hasn't changed, right? You know, Bro, the fucking sex stairway is crazy, though. Fucking back to Jesus Christ. So. I feel like. This. All right, Sam. Listen. Here's what needs to happen in this mod. Because here, here's the thing. Both Michael and Kai are still out of school. Kai is injured. Michael is suspended. The school seems to be genuinely split on whether it was Michael or Kai. Or at the very least, when it came to who did it, they're the two primary names thrown out there. Kai is not in as strong of a position as it seems. I mean, between, like, this really was, like, a bad move on his part. What he needed to do was tie up loose ends immediately following, not immediately fucking confront the MC. Like, in that, maybe, if he would have been in a stronger position, it'd be a different story, but he's not in that great of a position. And especially now that he's cemented a lot of the people who have had disdain towards him, and as well as convinced a lot of people, or, you know, again, if people who believe that he did it, right, again, it's kind of, you know, swayed a lot of people against him. It, it's something to where it's like, what needs to happen now is people need to just chill the fuck out and, like, do their own thing. Like, it sounds crazy, but, like, Shiro needs to shut up, you know, sit down, shut up, move on, let go, stay with the literature club, and then fucking, you know, graduate, right? Sam needs to enjoy the time she has left. That sounds crazy. But be good friends with Michael. Be a good friend. That will do more for him than anything else in this instance. Going after Kai is stupid. You know, granted, again, and I, I've said this before, though, 
the one person who could unravel everything would be, or what it comes down to is ultimately Valerie or Bella, right? Because if they can get to the people who actually took a photo and forged the thing, like everything unravels. And I have no doubt that they'd both be willing to rat out the if it came down to it. But again, which is why he needed to tie up loose heads. But ultimately, you don't need Sam to do that, right? You've got both Jeremy as well as Principal Rankin on the case, the most powerful staff member and the most powerful council. So like, I feel like say it like this is an idiotic choice. Granted, it's going to end up working out because that's how the mod's going to, you know, make it play out. But this is like, again, like, all right, like, like I feel Sam's being a fucking idiot. Charlotte was being an idiot. Okay, to be fair, I will say with Charlotte's investigation, if she, like, she could have, ge I feel like she could have genuinely redeemed Kai, but again, her goal was entrapment and recording, right? Sam's just being a fucking idiot here. Like, what she needs to do is just be a good friend for Michael and enjoy her own life. Like, that's what she needs to do. Like, this whole clearing of the name thing is, like, this is what, like, again, you know, Randy, okay, unironically, Randy would be a good bet. Randy would be a good ass bet. Like, he's dumb. No, 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 dude. Randy's a bro. Randy's chill as fuck. Like, agitator. Dude, talk with Randy, bro. Like, and again, that is 100% referring to Sam. So, and again, like, it goes back to the art book. It goes back to the art book. And that was Victor, right? Again, you know, we know, we knew it was Victor, right? So, Bro, oh, she has that. Oh, it's done for. It's done for for Sam. This is like now she's realizing that again, all the way back then, right? Even all the way back then, like she was just collateral in this whole game, right? You know. Yeah, that's why. And again, this goes back to because Sam, both Sam and Charlotte, it's funny how similar Sam and Charlotte are. You know, again, they both, you know, are Charlotte's pretty good friends with Shiro. Sam's pretty good friends with uh, Michael, right? You know, they both have this underlying medical condition. You know, they're each interested in, you know, Sam or Sam's, again, really interested in art, right? You know, uh, Charlotte's really interested in science, right? So. Bro, she's she's not. Listen, <sighs> bro, what? Here's what. It, dude, I swear to God. Yeah, bro, you don't want to be caught around this sex stairway, bro. That is not uh on Ironically though, Randy would low key be a pretty good fucking bet. Like, bro, Randy's gonna be like, uh, oh, this is the end of the episode. I, I I'm still gonna be honest. I think it's a horrible idea. What Sam needs to do is be a good friend for Michael. Was it always auto? Am I an idiot? I do not believe this is always autumn color. This it must be because it changes with the um arcs. I just want to throw it out there because it definitely was not. But again, you know, I feel like the interesting thing, you know, big thing there, right? Is uh, you know. And really what it comes down to is yeah, right? Just um <coughs> Jesus. Again, the the big thing there, right, is, yeah, just, I, I again, granted, the obviously the mod needs to go in that direction for the story to play out, but, like, I, I do think Randy's ironically a good bet. Like, I feel like out of anyone, he'd be the best bet. Like, Sam, Randy's a bro, dude. Like, he's chill as fuck. Like, honestly, Sayori hoodie sprites. Where the fuck did we see Sayori? Oh, no, no, no. It's the red one. And it, yeah, definitely is cell phone asset. What the hell are you talking about? But again, honestly, I'm I'm really enjoying this mod now. I, I feel like this is funny enough, you know, and the, the thing here, right, is I, I've said this. Until Kai and Michael gets back, it's just going to be about, you know, really people kind of recovering in the aftermath of this second incident, right? Is it going to say thanks to Sam? Dedicated to Sam. Again, Sam has to be a fucking person in real life. Like, I swear to God. And their character has to be represented. Like, there, it wouldn't make sense anyway else. I really hope we do learn about who this Sam person is. Right? Oh, oh we get the end credit scene. 
is it going to be Randy? Bro, Randy's just chilling in class. He's like, oh, man, I got football practice, bro. Like, dude, I, I love this man so much. He's like, bro, I got practice. I, I'm late as fuck. I, you know, meet me at stairway. 9.30? God damn, bro. Come alone. Bro, he's like, what the fuck? The sex stairway, bro? Who wants to have sex? Like, let's say who it's from. Could it be some prank? He's like, looks like it's from a girl. He's like, damn, bro, fucking detective. The fuck that place, dude. That's what I was gonna say, bro. The sex stairway is crazy. Like, bro, Randy, he's like, Shh, uh, I got this in the bag. Oh, God, look at you. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Don't don't you got some shit to watch? Like, I swear, this man is fucking everywhere, dude. Like, dude, I fucking hate this man, bro. How I hate how is he everywhere? Like, don't know, maybe, you know. Bro, dude, he's gonna be like, it's Sam, you know. Secret admirer, bro. Hey, listen though, dude. Randy's big as fuck. Not even gonna lie, like, dude, bro. <laughs> All right, Randy, get his ass, bro. Swear, I swear. There, listen, because I was thinking Victor would be like, oh, this is from uh, that same chick, right? But like, dude, like, what's Victor gonna do? Fights like Randy? Like his ass is getting beat. Like, what do you mean the tide? All right, shut the fuck up. Listen. Kai is not even in fucking school right now. He's in the hospital. Like, Victor, is he trying to be, like, the de facto, like, leader of this? Like, if anything, he needs to tie up loose ends with Valerie and fucking Bella. Because they're the ones who could unravel this whole thing. Yeah, once... Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock, because it's the fucking sex here, well, dumbass. Like, yeah, bro, that's what... Victor, dude, like, I fucking hate this man, bro. Like, v there's, like, zero reason. Unless he recognized it's Sam's handwriting, there's zero fucking reason for him to, like... Bro, what? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, Victor, shut the fuck up. Dude, like, you're not fucking... The, you're not the fucking, you know, a mob boss. Like, it's not this fucking deep. Like, if Victor is... Re I've said this. It, unless he were to recognize it's Sam Ryan, it would be a different story. But if he's really that fucking worried, he needs to tie up loose ends with Valerie and Bella. Like, that should be his top priority. Like, but it's like, again, people, like, that's why, like, Victor's an idiot, dude. Like, bro, yeah, dude. Like, fucking Victor, bro. Like, I hate this man. Like, right? Bro, Victor... <sighs> Yeah, bro. Like, hey, Randy's a bro. Randy's a, Randy's a G. Randy's so chill, dude. I love his character. Randy and Kaibo. But all right, hold on. New game. Dueling Hearts Art, right? That's what it was called. Crazy that we're again, and I think it's gonna 100 percent end with the MC and Kai coming back to school and kind of like a final showdown. Are we on episode three? I think we are, right? Yeah, at 13. So Heart strain. Oh, bro. Literal. This has to be Charlotte in the hospital. Unless, you know, maybe it's Sam. Bro, get that fucking analog core shit out of here. All right. We're going to. All right. Bro, Randy. Bro, this sex deal was fucking crazy. So. And because here's the thing, right? Funny enough, Randy Price, no idea who this chick is. He's like, Oh hey, you know, uh, 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 you left a little on my. Also, granted, the fact that Sam somehow knew like where Randy's locker was, like, I don't want to say it's concerning, but shows you know she actually knows something, right? So Randy Barrett, yeah, like Sam Meadows, he's like, I have no idea who this is. Like, this is Michael's girl. It's like, <laughs> I dude, I love that's hilarious. I love how fucking he immediately assumes like Michael and uh, her are a thing. Granted, I, I can see where the assumption comes from, but that's like the immediate thing. He's like, hey, that's uh, this is Michael's chick. Like, what the hell is she doing? Like, yeah, it's like, you know, <laughs> dude, this is crazy, bro. I love Randy so goddamn much, dude. Like, cool. So what do you want to do? Like an autograph, a hot date? Because I'm free this weekend. That's not. But also, Sam has seemingly zero idea the reputation of this stairway. 
given she brought Shiro here, and she was like, oh, what the fuck is going on? And then Randy, like, is, assumed the same thing. Dude, it's cr- I, I still find the sex stairway to be absolutely fucking crazy. Like, but Sam has zero idea of the reputation, which makes it even funnier. But, and also, I feel like, funny enough, Randy, even though he's rolling with Kai, I feel like he he's the go-to person for this, because he's actually chill as fuck. Like, he's a bro. Like, you know... Like, like, this is actually kind of crazy to think about. Like, he's like, she's like, you know, yeah, I know you roll with Kai. Um, like, and again, like, Michael took photos of Charlotte and these two girls. He blessed them, like, and again, because it's like, he's like, I don't fucking know. Like, I wasn't there when the pictures were taken. So, but also, like, Randy immediate like he already knows that she's supposedly michael's girl right so hey dude and blush gives it away but i was gonna say like he's gonna get at her here right so you know and again i feel like it's funny enough i i this is actually so hilarious because this was basically the exact conversation that happened between charlotte and michael where she was asking why he left the club and like, she was basically trying to defend Shiro there. Like this was basically the exact same conversation between Charlotte and Michael, but instead now it's between Sam and Randy. Right. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Uh, football practice takes a bit of time. Need to actually study and study hall. So that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, bro, because the fucking difference in athleticism here is insane because Sam with her condition and Randy being like peak male physique, like. Hey bro. Yeah. He's like, are oh, you good? Like he's like, Damn. like he, he's like, Oh shit. I'm like, you know, it's like, he's like, you bro, dude. And he's like, Oh man, shit. Uh, I saw every wait, huh? Oh yeah, that is actually true. Funny enough, like because she was literally there when they fucking fought, right? So yeah, and again, you know, re- like because I feel like the point here is what the question that needs to be asked is what is Sam going to right? What's she going to offer? Like, what is? I mean, cool, you confront Randy, right? Maybe you get him to spill the beans, but like. For what? Like, why are you doing this? Like, what's in it for him? You know? You do. Funny enough, Randy had literally had practically virtually zero involvement in this. Like, I can't even... What did Randy even do? Because Victor, we know he fucked with Sam's artwork. You know? But what? even for the actual incident itself... Valerie forged everything. Bella took the photos. You know, Randy didn't really have a part in this, right? I guess he's just Kai's, like, right-hand man. You know, I guess the big thing with, with him is maybe something regarding Jeremy, but... But also, again, you know, why did he hunt down Michael? You know, but, like, again, because Sam hasn't, I guess, maybe Randy's friends with Kai, but that doesn't necessarily mean he knows this. Like, Randy, funny enough, because Kai's saying some shit like, if I go down, you go down. But, like, we haven't really seen Randy do anything. Like, this is this is what I've been saying. Like, like we haven't really – I think the closest thing was him being in the room with Shiro as fucking, you know – but it was mostly a fight between Kai and Shiro, right? And I'm pretty sure it was Victor – who was, like, fucking him up because he's like, oh, yeah, I know Kung Fu or whatever he was saying. So, like, Randy, it it's hard to make the, like, to assume that, all right, if Kai goes down, Randy immediately goes down, which is seemingly what Sam's whole thing is hinging on. So, and again, like... But also, like, you know... Because in funny enough, we know the reason for this. Kai gave Randy the workout plan that he needed to get on the team. And in turn, Randy, this goes back, and again, because they go back, right? You know, and in turn, Randy kept the football guys off Kai's back. Because they go back however far. 
right? You know, at least up until the start of that. So before, you know, I guess you could make Randy was probably Kai's first friend after Shiro and Charlotte and what did went down with them. Granted, they were never friends, but at least someone he had relations with. So, and again, right? So, and again, like, and this is unironically the truth, right? So, and again, like, Randy is like, tell, all right, now he's kind of gained into Kai's logic. But I was going to say what he said here is just, you know, that's just what it is, right? Like, you can be friends with someone and not involved in their, like, own beef. Like, you know. And again, I think the funny thing here is because Randy himself, he could have just been in. in I, I honestly, I really love Randy's character here because he could have just been your stereotypical, like, high school bully. You know, right? But he's seemingly, you know, and even though he's on the football team, he needed, he's kind of the underdog when it came to that. You know, and he seems to genuinely believe, you know, what Kai's saying in terms of, you know, and seemingly from other football players too, right? You know, other like people on sports teams, like, you know, you can't just walk around and own the place, right? Just because you have some, you know, just because you're on a team, just because you're a captain, just because you're part of this club, right? You know? And again, like, to be fair, we've seen Principal Rankin's a decent guy. And Jeremy, you know, seems to actually care about Michael in this instance. But we also know Jeremy wanted to get rid of the club specifically. And then the principal is just, that's not really their job, right? So, and again, Randy's like, I think what's funny is Randy and Sam, are, funny enough, I feel like are very similar. Like, obviously, complete opposite builds. But, you know. And again, right? This is interesting here. But again, with that, I'm going to end it here. Don't really have anything else to say. We'll uh, continue this in the next one. So, yep. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.